Do you have a list of goals for your life? Goals that will challenge and inspire you? In today's video, we're sharing why it's important to set goals for yourself and to plan your ideal life. Hi, YouTube family. We are Matilda and Mike, and we both enjoy sharing our passion for love, finance, and healthy living in our weekly videos. If you find our videos helpful, please do like it by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. And everybody else, welcome back. In today's video, we wanted to talk about creating goals. We all have things that we want to accomplish in this life. When planning your ideal life, creating goals is a great way to keep you focused and constantly moving towards those things that you want to achieve. When it comes to planning your ideal life, I'd like to start off with a quote by Jim Rohn. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. I hope that quote opened up your eyes as much as it did for me. We need to start planning our ideal life, and the best way that we know how to start is by setting goals. Your goals are your system to direct your growth in the areas that you need to improve on. Well-written goals will direct your growth and act as a freeway, getting you to your destination as fast and efficiently as possible. It doesn't matter how big or how small your goals are, and it doesn't matter what categories you have them in. For example, I have spiritual goals, physical goals, relationship goals, travel goals, um, financial goals, so many different categories, and that just depends on you and what you want to achieve out of life. Do not be afraid to go outside of your comfort zone by challenging yourself with one or two really extraordinary goals that are way outside of your reach and outside of your comfort zone. That helps because by you trying to achieve those goals, you'll really transform as a person and you'll gain so many amazing skills that you will use throughout your life. Research shows that when you write a goal down and review it frequently, your brain has what's called structural tension, which means that it wants to close the gap between your reality and your vision for the future. So your brain actually wants to help you achieve those goals. The more you review the goals, the more you visualize the goals, the higher likelihood you have of attaining that. I love writing my goals because of three reasons. Number one, it keeps me accountable. I have the goals there, I know what I wanna achieve, and I'm accountable for achieving them. Number two, celebrating those milestones. When I see that I've achieved a goal, it gives me that boost of motivation, that boost of confidence, and it helps me to know that, hey, I can achieve it and I can start working on the next goal. And number three, it's that research shows that when you write things down, it's encoded in a specific part of your brain, which means that your brain will actually help you to achieve those goals. So when something that's against your goals comes up, you'll remember and you'll kind of say, oh, this goes against what I want to do, so let me put this to the side and really focus on what, what it is that I have written down that I want to accomplish. An important part of the process is seeing the big picture. Take the time and think about what is the big picture for your goal. It needs to be clear and expansive. Expansive in that it needs to include somebody other than yourself. Include your loved ones. They often are the reason behind your goals that you're striving for. They provide answers to the questions like why am I doing this and what am I doing this for. Every time you read your goals, you should have them in your mind and see them and allow them to help pull you and motivate you towards achieving those goals. Finding a mentor can be a great way to achieve those things that you set out to do. Mentors guide you, they share their knowledge with you, they share their successes with you, and they also share their failures with you, which is very helpful. And mentors don't have to be people you know face to face. A mentor can be an author that you really enjoy, it could be somebody that's in the same field as you, that's written books and that's very successful. You can read their books, you can take their courses if they have any online courses, and that's a great way for you to pick their brain through those things that they've published or those courses. Um, you can read about their profiles, you can check out their LinkedIn accounts, and really try to dig into their lives. What do they value? How did they become successful? What, are, what were some of their barriers? How did they overcome those barriers? And if you are fortunate enough to know a, a mentor and know somebody that would be a great mentor, don't be afraid to reach out to them. People really want to help, especially other people that are on the same journey as them. They want to share those tips and they want to help you succeed. So reach out to mentors and ask them to guide you. Ask them why you, you know, value their feedback and why you value their mentorship and 
they will want to help you. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below. Let us know if you have any goals, what categories your goals are in, and just share that with us. We'd love to know. Be sure to check out our social media in the comments or in the description box below. And thank you for watching.